how you change the MacBook settings for your printer to help with your sublimation quality. This took me a minute to figure out, but I'm using Google Docs, and what I'm going to do is you just upload any photo. You're going to go to print. It's going to show your computer. I use the Epson ET2760. You're going to go to more settings. I'm using A4 paper. I personally changed this. I can't say that it made a huge difference, but I do 720 DPI. Then you're going to go to print using system dialog. I already have my preset set for sublimation, but I'll show you guys what I did. So for copies, you're going to do one, pages all, paper size, you're going to make sure that it's A4. In case you're using something different, you can always change it, but you want it to match. Then you're going to go to layout, and this is where you can adjust things. For color matching, I have it set to Epsom color controls. Paper handling, this is not really important, but you'll go to print settings. I set mine to premium presentation paper mat. Quality, you're going to want high quality. You want to mirror your image. Do not turn on the grayscale. You can do borderless or you can do no border. Then you're going to go to color options. And it's really important that you put it on Adobe RGB. You don't want Epson Vivid. For gamma, you want 2.2. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back up here to presets, save current setting as the preset, and this way you never have to change it again, and it's all set to go. Before I change these settings, my sublimation prints were coming out just very grainy and not quite so vivid, but after I fixed this, it came out a lot better. So you're just going to save it as your preset. I already have it saved on my computer, so I'll just do that. And then I will be printing these for some t-shirts I'm making for a customer. Um, but you can actually use any photo that you want from your computer. Just all you really need to do is select print and go to those settings. And that's it.